Just a short time ago, the Suffolk County DA echoed the calls we heard from parents after a student was shot outside the Burke High School. As WBZ's Nick Giovanni tells us, school leaders are working on comforting students and staff while figuring out a way forward. A Boston police cruiser was parked out in front of the Burke High School Wednesday morning. Its lights flashing as students returned to class a day after a 17-year-old was shot on school grounds. I think it's really terrible. Like, it's not safe to go to school. It's awful. I'm definitely on edge. A team of social workers and additional city and district staff were brought in this morning, according to BPS, to support students and educators after their campus went into what the district called safe mode Tuesday as police responded to the shooting. That what happened yesterday was tragic, changed lives, um, it, it changed the community. But what's important this morning is that our students and our staff feel safe to be able to, to pass and to go back to school, which is what they're here to do. Before the school day got underway, Superintendent Mary Skipper and Boston Mayor Michelle Wu sat down with school staff for breakfast. This is a time um, that is incredibly challenging for a community that had an unexpected, horrible situation happen. It's a time for coming together and drawing support for that entire community and not finger pointing. Prosecutors say the suspected shooter was a 17-year-old classmate of the victim, who was set to be arraigned in juvenile court Wednesday on multiple charges, including assault with intent to murder. We need a, a full community response uh, to this sort of situation. It's simply unacceptable to have uh, a shooting happen at 930 in the morning on schoolhouse steps in front of uh, a school in our city. Suffolk County DA Kevin Hayden told us the 17 year old victim is in stable condition. While back at the Burke, superintendent said the school is going to be holding assemblies today to give students a chance to come together. Reporting in Dorchester, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.